have a planner review for you today. I'm Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper, and I do a lot of talking about planning, bullet journaling, and a lot of tangential things. But today I am reviewing a planner from Jen over at Craftic Land, and I met her online through a series of conversations around shopping and crafting with your stash. Uh, you might have seen my 365 freeze video where I talk about trying to stop buying more planner things and crafting things so that I might actually use the stuff that I already have. And uh, Jen is really great at that. She has a whole challenge around craft your stash and really emphasizes creativity and being able to use what you have. And so she created a planner to help people do that. It's a digital planner. I printed it out and it is an A5 size. And the whole purpose of this planner is to help you add creativity into your everyday life. And so there are a couple features in this that I'm excited to show you to see if you want to bring this into your life. So I love that it's digital because you can kind of print whatever you want and size it to whatever you need it to be, whether it's a punch or a disc. I will personally be doing discs, so um, I'll put that together and then show you what it looks like. And then you can also choose whatever paper you want, whether you print it at home or you print it over at like an Office Max or at a store. Um, being able to choose some of those specifics can be really helpful in trying to use a system that works best for you. So I'm going to cut these down. I just printed these today and you can see that there are these marks, these crop marks, so that you can use your paper cutter or, you know, you can always have the shop do them for you if you want. And then I will put it together and show you what I got. So I've got my first page. I'm gonna cut the rest of these and then be able to put it together in an order that I like and then show you what that looks so like. So here are some of the pages that I printed out. I have the full bundle and you can get the full bundle that has the planner and the crafter pages for I think it's like $34, $36. And you can print them out at your own leisure. And I forgot the cover page because I'm silly, but um, the, the catchphrase that she has is, what will you make today? Which I think is just such a, a great question for anybody who's got a little bit of that creative spark. It's like, how can you add that into your life? Okay, so I put the annual review up in the front and I just did the six months. You can obviously print two sets of these pages for the full year, but this way you can do like right now it's June, so I'd probably start in July and then you can use this in a variety of ways. So it's really simple, really minimal, so that you can make this whatever you need it to be. So it could be birthdays, it could be um, holidays, whatever you find useful. And the whole point is to kind of spark that creativity. So it might be a great way to be like, oh, I could make a card for that person, or I can make an art piece that celebrates that particular holiday. And that's where you can kind of track that in here. So this I thought was really cool. There's like the 52 weekly prompts. Sometimes we just need an idea and the coming up with the idea is enough of a barrier that we just don't create at all. So that's why I love all those Instagram challenges that have just a simple prompt for every day. And here Jen's got one for each week and you can either follow them in order or choose one off the page in general and go from there. And then here there's like these craft and creative holidays that I've never really taken the time to list before. So it's not just like the regular bank holidays, but for example, like World Sketch Note Day, National Sticker Day, or fun things like February's Embroidery Month. I had no idea. I don't know who comes up with these to be honest, but like National Scrapbook Day. So these are some like creative ideas that you might want for your own planner. When you order this um, digital download, it comes with a whole zip file of all of the different pages in, in the system. So that's where you have to kind of put it in order and print out whatever it is that you want because there's like notes pages that are dot grid, some of them are ruled, and some of them are grid. So you get to choose which ones um, work for you. Obviously, I chose dot grid because dot grid for life. And it's really simple. There's just a header. The dots are really faint, so that 
may or may not be something that works well for you, or you can just increase the contrast. Um, the month looks like this, and it starts off with a creative brainstorm. Again, this planner is not designed uh, for you to be super, super like productive in like the economic sense. It's really designed to help you channel your creativity. So that's why there's a lot of this open space like for brainstorming. And then uh, what will you be working towards this month and keeping it pretty general. So you could target this toward, you know, your job and your projects, or you could be talking about more like creative projects. Like I'm working on a triptych right now. I'm working on an art piece right now. There are a couple options in the zip file for the monthly, and you can choose a Monday start or a Sunday start. I have been doing Monday starts for so long, I cannot imagine going back to Sunday. There's an open space and that it's not lined. That's one of my pet peeves about some of the note sections in monthly planners. These but are all dot grid, just really faint. Enough for you to get, you know, some structure, but not enough to keep you limited. At the bottom, there's just a, a chart here for your daily habits. And I think what's cool is that there is an added goal and actual column so that you can shoot for a certain threshold. A lot of times you feel like in those, those bullet journal trackers that you have to like color in every single box, but actually maybe you just want to, you know, track that you floss your teeth a certain number of times um, in that month, and then you can compare it with your actual. I have a video about habit tracking where I do talk about how if you do nothing with the data, why track it? Uh, and comparing this goal to the actual amount um, can help you raise into the front of your mind like why is it that number what do i need to change do i want to change it am i happy with that so that's a cool addition and there's two different views uh for the weekly there is a horizontal and a vertical obviously i chose the vertical if you followed me for a while you know that vertical is my ride or die this is a really nice simple familiar layout so what you see here is that there's like dotted lines up at the top and then this is a dot grid in here. Again, really faint. And then this open prompt here, which calls back to any of those creative prompts at the beginning of the planner. Or obviously, you can always choose a prompt from somewhere else and use this to you know, be your space of requirement or somewhere to doodle. Up here, I can see you using it as like priorities or maybe intentions or a brief schedule of the day up here and then your tasks or memory keeping down here. You could collapse it into one, use this for something else, or, you know, this is for Saturday and this is for Sunday. Okay, and then there's also daily pages. So if you're not a daily planner or you're not a weekly planner, you can just choose to print one or the other. That's the kind of cool thing about digital downloads, right? Is that you can decide, I wanna do all of the different views. I wanna do monthly, weekly, and daily. And then you can print however many um, pages you want and do maybe three months at a time. I think Ivory Paper Co. does like a monthly, weekly, daily, and you can only carry around so much paper at one time. So you can kind of decide how much of that you want with you. But I like that it gives you a kind of a different prompt than just an open plan. It just says, what will you do today? And maybe it's because I know that this planner is designed for creativity that I would automatically be thinking about um, maybe a journaling prompt or something that requires you to pause and take inspiration. But I, I just like that kind of checking in with me by asking the question, what will you do today? Of course, you can always channel your like, oh, I got to do this for work or whatever, but it just feels a little different knowing the purpose of this planner. And then on the right, it's just this kind of shaded box, which you can use for whatever you want. This could be your quote of the day, an inspiration, a gratitude, intention, maybe a health focus. So this is a dot grid down here. So I'm gonna skip the weeks and go to this end of the month reflection and open space for you to do, whether you wanna do photos or you just wanna write or do a list, whatever, sketch. What activities and people brought me joy? In what ways have I grown this month? And what am I looking forward to next month? Celebrating your accomplishments here, here. And then what I think is cool is unexpected wins this month. Sometimes I forget to give myself credit for some of those. Okay, so there's more weeks in here. 
So you'll notice that there's some, like, these blank pages because I printed each page like um, spread at a time and you print it like one page on a page and you cut it down. You can do it back and front, two-sided, but my suggestion for that is if you have a Adobe Acrobat, you're able to combine the files together to create a whole new document, which would then allow you to kind of print, you know, these weeks back to back. Or if you're like me, you could always use an extra blank page for lists and random thoughts and doodling. I don't mind that there is a blank page between the weeks because I'm often needing to do a grocery list or like a random project list that can go in between. But again, you can put those things together in a single file. So there's another couple uh, pages for the crafter part. Um, projects going back and looking at you know supplies project time packaging time um this is more for people who you know make and and send their art maybe it's a card maybe it's a gift um how long will it take it helps you kind of plan backwards wish lists favorite sites and shops and then here's a shop name, website, and description. I think it's pretty easy to find the website. So what I personally might do would be to like um, cover this with like a code title instead because there's a lot of people out there from some of my favorite shops that have like discount codes and stuff that I might want to remember to use. Gifts and cards. I think this is cool because if you're artsy, you might want to make something for someone. Knowing what the intentions for theme occasions are can help you plan ahead for some of those. And then you can use your stash to make those things. So these are to make lists. I know that there's always projects spinning around in my mind and having a place to put that down could be really nice. And um, in true bullet journal fashion, what you could do is put a page number here. The most famous spread from Jen that I think of is just understanding that you're using your stash. And she's got a lot of great spreads that track using up my sticker sheets, using up my pens and my journals. Being able to uh, write that down might encourage us to uh, reduce the quantity that's in our stashes. So you can buy the bundle that has both the planner pages and the crafters pages together. And that's what I said was like the $36. And then you can just buy the planner pages. You can just buy the crafter pages. Even down to like, I just want this one page to cut out for my A5. You can just get the one spread at a time. And that's all in her on her shop and I'll link it down below for you. This is one of those things where I just really support what she's trying to promote, which is that connection to making something as much as we can. And we all have that latent creativity and how can we channel into that and use up the stuff that we have sitting on our shelves. If you are interested in something like this, I have a code down below for you to use to get 10% off if you're interested. What questions do you have? Do you have questions about these discs? Do you have other ideas for what you could do to channel your creativity in the day to day? Would love to know. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!